Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I've come to the lovely port town of Oban in Scotland. We're going to go up there to see the folly and um, we'll have a walk around the bay to the cathedral just over there. So we're just going to have a little explore of this town, very well known for its fishing and its ferries. One of the big ferries has just left for one of the islands. You can get to about 10 of the Scottish islands from this town. There's also a railway station behind those buildings, but there's no trains due. And um, I haven't actually come here by train, come here by road today. We'll have to do the open line another day because it's a railway line I haven't been on. But what I'm going to do now, we're going to wander off over there and up to see the folly. And I'll tell you a bit about it when we get up there. As I walk around the bay and just point out, there's one of the ferries which has just departed. It was only over there a moment ago, so I haven't come far. I'm going to head to where that building there is. You can just see a chimney, that's the Oban Distillery. And behind that building, I believe there's Jacob's Ladder. So that's where we're going to go, to go up to the Folly. I've just come up Argyle Street from the sea down there. Here's one of the many churches. There's also two cathedrals, so I can see one of them, so hopefully we're going to find them. Now I believe this is Jacob's Ladder, this long flight of stairs, which is going to take us up. There are other ways, roadways, which is a bit more gentle, but um, this is the short, sharp way, part of the way up the hill. If um, anyone's watching it, if you're wondering when I film this, because you never know when we're next going to go into a lockdown or anything, this is between Christmas and New Year 2021, New Year 2022. So, um, at the time of filming, there's no restrictions on what I'm doing, but if you watch it in a lockdown, I wasn't in a lockdown when this was filmed. I'm now going to continue because um, I'm going to be out of breath. So continue up there and just see another ferry at the port leaving for another one of the islands. So onwards and upwards. I've just stopped off at one of the viewpoints um, nearly at the top of the Jacob's Ladder. The railway station is just there. It might be hard to see, but it's just there. No trains at the moment, but there is a ferry. Have a big ferry. I'm not sure it's arriving or departing, but it's moving. So as I said, lots of ferries here. We're just above the roof of the Oban Distillery. So although I'm more of a beer man, I might go there and try some whiskey later, because when I go to Scotland, they usually do end up trying the whiskies. That's looking down. I'm just going to continue around. And I don't think it quite takes me there. It takes me to a sort of residential road where the houses probably have very nice views over the, the bay. And then that will be a short walk from here round to the distillery itself. Not the distillery, the um, McCann's Tower, where we're going to. Well, there's like a turnstile here. So, oh, this is a nice road, yeah. We can walk along here above the rooftops of Oban. What a great view if you live here. Get a great view. I can smell the whiskey as well. There's also a viewpoint over there. I don't think I'm going to have time to do it one today, maybe another time when we come to Oban, but there's the distillery of its distinct chimney. Oh, that's where we're going, up to that folly. So I'm going to continue my way around these roads and um, we'll go and have a look, see what we can see when we get to the top. Not too far now, it's um, flattening out the road. There it is. There's the tower. So, McKaig's tower. It was um, built by Mr. McKaig, or he had it built rather, as a monument to his family. But it was also to keep the local stonemasons, give them some work, as what is the purpose of quite a few follies. The idea is, you know, build them, keep people working, and it would provide something exciting. So it's based on the Colosseum in Rome. It's probably more complete than the Colosseum in Rome. It's not ruined at all, but it was built like this. It's not actually an amphitheatre. Once we get inside, we'll be able to have a look. So I've never been up here before. So as I make this video, I'm seeing it all for the first time. So I'll gather that's the entrance. So I can follow the path this way and uh, see what where it takes us. So it's um you know it's an interesting town over. It's the biggest town on the west coast of Scotland, because with Scotland, all the bigger towns once you get above the central belt tend to be on the east coast. Obviously you've got big cities like Dundee and Aberdeen. But you've got various other towns such as Arbroath and Stonehaven. Um, but really, there's only Fort William and Oban are the only towns of any size. If you just come here by car, 
free part there, come up the steps. Wow, that's a nice view. There it is, in front of us. So, I'm quite excited about going up here. Always enjoy visiting ruins and follies, etc. Um, something fascinating about follies because, you know, they're a bit, they don't always have a purpose, but that's the whole point of follies. You know, folly meaning something that's not real. It's not the real Colosseum, but it's um, yeah, impressive. Let's go and have a look inside. It's not, um, I didn't really know what to imagine. There's all bushes and that inside. I kind of imagined it to be a flat, sort of grassy area. So the path that continues, we go down here though, have a look at the, um, the arches. So it doesn't look like you can really get up any point of it. I don't think there's any stairs within it. It's, uh, I'm not going to count the arches. Um, if you know how many there are, yeah, comment, tell me. Um, but don't just guess. But it goes right round in a circle. So there's two tiers. There's a few bits here, like where the hill drops down. There's a doorway out there. I think, though, there should be a doorway on the other side where I'm hoping we can go out and see a bit similar to the view we saw, but higher up and see more of it and um, cross to some of the Scottish islands. So it's like the actual summit of the hill is right in the middle. Um, which, let's go up there first, because I don't think that's where we're going to see the views. I think to see the views, we're going to have to go down to where those people just came out of. Oh, this is, um, yeah, so from, that, from this angle, you get the illusion it's only one tier, but it appears to be two tiers all the way around. And it's pretty much the same, except the entrance got a slightly taller turret. So, it's quite an interesting view here, when you look out and you can just sort of see bits of the town through the windows um what we'll do though let's go down this slightly not so official path i want to go outside and just see what view we get i kind of know what we're going to get but you know point out a few more sites of the town so underneath the two tiers through this door and there's like quite a big lookout area here so go to here, and um, we were down there. You can probably see the railway station a bit better now. I've walked along there, come up beneath the distillery. My plan is, um, time permitting, is then to make my way down. See the Catholic Cathedral, that's the big church down there. That's, they started building that in 1932, and it was finished in 1952. There's also another Protestant cathedral in the city or town, um, which I'll point out if I get a chance to. We look out that way out to the aisle, so I'm gonna head down now and um, we'll see more from the town from down below. Well, here we are, we're back down in the town centre, and here is the Protestant Cathedral. Unfortunately, though, it's not open, I've just tried, so I can't show you inside, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continue walking around the bay, we're gonna go and have a look at the Catholic Cathedral, or at least have a look from the outside, hopefully, and we're going to be able to go in the inside. So that, believe it or not, is the back of the Protestant Cathedral, which we didn't go in. It looks like it's been cut back at some point. Admittedly, I didn't have a lot of chance to do much research. I've just sort of come here today, got a bit of spare time, so I thought I'd make this video. But on this side, we yeah, have a rather nice view of the bay. And just over there, that's the Catholic Cathedral. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll have a look, walk along here. It's, um, it's not so easy to see here, but the water is very clear. When I was standing closer to the town's engine, you could look straight down. I couldn't see any fish, but you know, you could see straight through the water to the bottom. So I'm just going to continue around there and we'll go and um, see if we can go inside the Catholic Cathedral. So here we are further around the bay and here is St Columbus Cathedral. Catholic Cathedral, very big, impressive building. So, I'm told it's open. Let's just go and have a look inside. It's um, this is the one they began to build it in 1932. It took until 1953 to finish it, and it's the head of the diocese of Argyll and the Isles. I believe there is a Catholic cathedral on one of the Scottish islands, but this is the main one. So, um, yes, yeah, so it says that would be the entrance, but tells us to use an entrance over here 
So we'll um, go and have a look. This is the cathedral house just here. Got my face covering ready. I've um, got all my face covering indoors at the moment. Let's go and see what we can see inside. Again, before we go into the church, I don't know too much about the cathedral other than what I told you admittedly as a bit of a quickly planned video, but I'm not going to talk too much because there might be people, you know, um, wanting to enjoy it in silence. So we'll just see how it goes. I just want to show you the side. So it's not huge like your big sort of traditional cathedral cities you get in England, but you know it's it's a, one of the big, certainly the biggest church I've been in up in this part of Scotland. There's a nativity scene there. So I think it's a very very nice building. Look at the. Um, Plain, but plain in a nice way. Have a look up there at the altar, the high altar. I'm going to go back outside now. I'll finish the video out by um, the by the by the sea where I can wear face covering. So here's the cathedral, we've just been inside. What we'll do now though, we'll just go down. Oh. It's two o'clock, bell struck two. We'll go down those steps just there onto the little beach. You can see from here though, pretty much all everywhere we've been in this video. We started right around there, we went up to the folly, we came down through the town to the Catholic Cathedral. So it was quite a short video, just a little quick exploration of Oban. It's certainly somewhere I'd like to explore further and um, maybe one day we'll do some videos out at some of the islands. I did, I was up here earlier this year, went over to Iona, which was great. I didn't make a video, but you know, it was a great trip. So here we are down on the shore. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment from Oban. Goodbye.